This is a pack of purple tulips in every shade of the purple universe, followed by some lovely yellow tulips ensconced in a pink shroud. Gypsy Queen Hyacinths in all her peachiness, followed by the Blue Star Hyacinths with that glorious smell. It wouldn't be California unless I grew tulips through succulents. And of course, my ranunculus, Harold the Spring. Enjoy the tour. I don't know if I photographed this for you. This is a fragrant, and eh, um, oh my goodness, I'm having a brain for it. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't remember now, but I'm still gonna show it to you. This is the leaf on it, which is getting really, really big. When the leaf first came out, you could distinguish the colors a lot easier, but um, as they've gotten bigger it's got a beautiful pattern on it it has the light green on the outside and the ivy green on the inside with the veining and the um, lighter spring green grass green color so pretty um, and um, as you see i have a full garden here peas are everywhere you know in, in the early garden season and mint I mean, it's not invasive in my area, but it, it is, this is one bulb, and so far it's put out two flowers, and you can see it has two coming, so I think it really likes this spot, you know. It's a harder spot for me. It's kind of shady, so the things that will flower and fruit here, I have to figure it out. It's time to start talking about the vegetable garden. Here's my peas. Let me make sure. And these are English peas. I got them from Select Seed. They have been the best peas I've ever been able to grow. As you can see, they're full of peas. I do nothing uh, since this is our rainy season. They grow with the rain. They give me lots of peas. And then when they think the weather is no longer conducive, they go their way. So this one's just getting started. And um, we only had a few days of rain this year, but you guys know I do a lot of hugo culturing, and so my soil can make it. Let me see what else I got. These are my um, tomatoes. I planted these last year, and this little on cove was warm enough so that they overwintered. The flower there, that's blackberry. And you can see a baby blackberry has already come. I should have came out here when it did its flower show, but I missed it, and shortly after that i've got tons of baby blackberries and here's another tomato this tomato doesn't really look that bad i turned it over to that side to try to because it's early enough in the season it was getting hit by spider mites and this corner is notorious for spider mites i've never done anything about it because you know spider mites on mint who who really cares you know but spider mites on tomatoes i care so I gotta now start thinking of what to do. The bees are coming for the blackberries right now, so all I can do is spray it down with water until the blackberries finish flowering, because I bee, my bees, I'm down to one bee, so, you know, and I can't lose her. So, you know, I got other tomato plants. Okay, so here's the tulip row, the parisimas, the emperor tulips, they are all, um, you know, having their moment. It was a good show. This was a purple pack that I purchased. Uh, Endless Purple was just a cheapy pack I got from Bluestone. And it was not, they said don't even buy it in zone 10. It was only good, I think they said to zone 7. It did way better than the ones that they recommended for my zone. I haven't gotten any red tulips from the red pack yet. I planted it over there and those are not from the red pack i got nothing from from the red pack i planted which was supposed to be good for my zone this purple pack that isn't good for my zone 
did the best of those cheapy tulips and second to that the yellow tulips did second but you know as you can see the show is not tremendous and then the pink tulips the early pink tulips were empress so they did good but after the early ones went through um you see that the shows just you know i i you know yeah whatever so that just goes to show when you're buying budget things what the packaging says doesn't matter because in zone 10 buy the purple pack that's the one where you'll get the most flowers whatever flowers they use in the purple pack they last a long time um the all of the tulips in this pack were lasting like three weeks so even though you see the the tulip they're going over that's the early prince tulips those tulips bloom for five weeks yeah five weeks maybe even six weeks it was more than a month and then after that came these darker ones here i think those are negrita and they bloom a long time and then after that i got these tall ones which i don't know what they are and um they were a lavender color and now they're turning to a rosy pink color and they are lasting a long time so yeah it's great 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 and i don't know if that comes from the pink pack that looks it looks like um a villa fria because it's got green on it so i think that might be my china dolls i don't know and um these are sailor um sailor daffodils and they have been blooming for um three weeks or so and so they're a good choice i like things that bloom at least three weeks you know and the bloom is demure kind of going over now but um it was a good show and as you can see they are putting up new blooms see the new blooms are coming so i'll get hopefully three months of jungle flowers out of this i'm really it's, it's really good this is one plant started out with two now it has two more going so that's great yeah and let me see if you can see i had another jungle oh yeah there it is this is sailor as well but this particular the white sailor the flower is so low this is not a good plant to plant over here because you can't see the flower and of course it's not good for cutting you know i don't know the the leaves are long but the flower just came up short like it's the second flower and the first flower didn't go yeah but um that's just showing you what's going on there look who's up now yeah these are my dun -dun -dun ranunculus this all came from one pack you guys i got this from peaceful valley early on and fresh cut or something like that she said that she really liked that and these are all um striated like this and um this is the one they had on the cover they're not that big they're only um two inches but they're gorgeous aren't they for the garden and the the stock that they are on is almost two feet tall you can see this one is a bicolor with yellow and red very fiery and beautiful and this one here has a mixture of blackberry and cream and it seems to have more on it than this one i would have thought they were the same but this one has less than that one then you have one here that has yellow on it so it's a beautiful yellow and then over there, looks like we got another red one coming. Oh, they're just, I mean, I had no idea that I was planting different colors. I thought it was gonna all be the same color, but they, they're they really beautiful. And the funny, the wonderful part of it is they seem to time themselves to wait until the tulips were finished. The tulips went, then after the tulips, the iris went, and um then the daffodils and now here comes the ranunculus and they've got quite a show if you look at all those buds um i'm not cutting these so that's that's a ton of buds from this this one right here looks like it has one two 
Looks like it's got five flowers. And then there's other buds on that one coming up and some more on that one. So if you're getting ranunculus for your garden, it's a good show. Mm -hmm. I expected these to be much shorter than this. And I think maybe they're supposed to be because none of the rest of my ranunculus are this tall. But these were the first ones I planted probably a month or two before I planted any others. And it looks like they are coming up as timed. So I, I thought my ranunculus weren't coming up because maybe I didn't plant them right. But now I'm thinking they just have to get their time in the ground because this one's coming up first and I planted it first. I'm so happy to see my ridiculous flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my goodness. So, yeah, you guys. If you see that striated one on Peaceful Valley, they give you all the colors and they don't explain that. You know, so if you don't want all the colors, it would be a problem. But I definitely wanted all the colors and was trying to figure out how to get all the colors. So, yeah, I love it. I just remembered the name. This is a cyclamen. Yeah, this is a cyclamen. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Looks great in your flower border. I mean, in your vegetable patch or your herb garden. Doesn't it look totally in place in the herb garden? 